CEO, entrepreneur, born in 1964, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, uh, we are doing something different. You can see, we're doing a review. Not a game, but something for a game. This is the Skado Pro Controller for Nintendo Switch. Written right there. Skado's not in there, but it was written on Amazon when I bought it. So basically, uh, we're gonna review this, as I said. Uh, I uh, technically have opened it, you know, I opened the box that it came in. Then inside the box was another box. Boxception. But I guess let's get started. Alright. Okay. The controller is inside. Let's see. It's kind of hard to... Oh, there we go. So first, before we get to the controller... Instructions. Instructions. I did bring my switch. Uh, let's see. Ah, we'll need them. Uh, next, we have this charging wire, which is, you know, going to be useful because obviously the controller can run enough charge. That long. <laughs> That's long. That's what she said! <laughs> and we'll just put that to the side, and finally we have the main thing itself, the controller. Now, this obviously is has a design. Uh, I was trying to get one that didn't have a design, but this one was the cheapest and had a design, so I guess that that's that's good value. Design and cheaper. My god. But that didn't go in the correct direction I wanted it to. But I guess uh, let's just let's see. Hello again, it's me. But with a different shirt. Uh See, what happened was, originally, I was gonna play, you know, I was gonna connect this to my Switch and play a few games, but, uh, I did that and realized that the recording was 22 minutes long, and I'm trying to keep the videos on the shorter side, so, basically, uh, I've used this a lot more since I recorded that first part that you saw 25 seconds ago, um, but now I'm gonna just gonna give you my quick review of this, okay, because, uh, for some reason, when I'm speaking in front of my Switch, I, I just can't speak properly. <laughs> so I guess let's get started. First up on the review list, this controller, it's pretty good quality, not gonna lie. It's very good quality. <laughs> like, uh, I think I heard that this is like technically not the correct brand, but if you're going for like a controller that's affordable and cheap, this is the one you should go for. It also looks really cool. Look at this design. <laughs> looks cool. Is that pig? It's not a pickaxe, is it? It's not a pickaxe. Uh, also, apparently, uh, this is supposed to be Splatoon designed. Bruh! Do that. I, uh, does this look like a Splatoon controller to you? It doesn't. Um, second of all, this thing vibrates really hard. Like, I was playing, you know, Rocket League right now. Not right now. <laughs> when, uh, when I was recording the video, I was playing Rocket League, and when I held down this to, you know, move, this thing was vibrating. So, unless you have a problem with vibrating controllers, still very good. Uh, this vibrates really hardly. Maybe because it's like the first time I've owned a controller like this, but maybe for someone that already has had like a, like, like a PlayStation controller, an Xbox controller, this would be completely normal for them, but for me, no. Technically, I've had an Xbox controller, but that, that was a long, long time ago. That thing is sitting somewhere, and I have no idea where it is. At least in India. Um, second of all, um, it feels really good. I said that already. A sec third of all, actually. Third of all, um, it has very smooth movement, not gonna lie. Like, these buttons, like, you can press them very easily. You don't have to put that much strain into it. But it's not so easy to press that pressing it too hard will break the controller. Also, L LR and ZLZR, they feel pretty good to press, you know, like easy to press. Same thing with these controllers, you know, easy to press, but not so easy that they'll break off easily. 
and then the joysticks my favorite part of this entire thing they're so easy to move so fastly like like this the c stick is just you see that that's unlimited charge up attacks what smash attack yeah they're called smash attacks i, I looked that up in google in smash bros ultimate <laughs> but uh yeah that's that's it also um one thing if i had to say i don't like about this controller they have plus and minus over here the, this is plus and this is minus and they have the screenshot and home button right over here uh i'm not used to that uh I don't like when I was using this I hit X instead of plus so many times because that's what I'm used to wait, let, wait a minute all right uh, so you see right here on the switch um, the actually minus for this review but the minus button is over here okay when I'm playing on the switch you know if I want to press plus for like anything you know if I play Pokemon I want to summon something to ride on uh, I press this right here for this when I was playing Pokemon um, I pressed X instead of plus and that opened my menu and I accidentally um, I accidentally uh, threw away an item <laughs> in Life's Darkest like you can't throw away an item in Shield Origin but that's the only uh, complaint I have about this also it took me a while to figure out how to connect this thing because yeah I threw away the menu End of flashback. But anyways, that's it for this video. 